Hey guys, today we got a brand new screenshot and it is our first look at the common wombat. So this is the second to last animal that we have been waiting to see for Planet Zoo's new Twilight pack coming on October 18th. Look at how fuzzy it is. This thing is like a giant brown cotton ball. Like it's just all fluff. Like I thought like, you know, I think of guinea pigs as potatoes with legs, but these guys are like big potatoes with really, really fuzzy bodies, and really, really fuzzy legs. Like they're so cute and so adorable. I'm so excited. The wombat was an animal that I knew I was going to like when it came to the game, when we found out that it was coming into the Twilight pack, but I honestly didn't expect it to be this adorable and I don't know why because they're this adorable in real life as well so I'm just really excited to have it as a new animal in game. This screenshot was also really interesting to me because this is really the first screenshot that we've got from the new pack that's not all spooky and misty and dark and Halloween-y, right? Like this is a very naturalistic looking uh, screenshot here and it makes sense because wombats although they are typically forest animals they're from Australia and they're going to be in the wooded forested areas in Australia which look very very different from the wooded forested areas uh, anywhere else in the world like the United States for example that's what I'm used to because that's where I live um, but they're not going to be like dark and pine trees and you know evergreen trees and things like that they're going to be like eucalyptus and right eucalyptus is a is an Australian tree they're all over in the states but they're not native here I'm pretty sure they're a native um, uh, Australia. Yes, because that's what koalas eat. Duh. Anyway, <laughs> tangent aside, it's a very different screenshot than what we've got uh, thus far. I really don't see anything new in this screenshot. We do have the burrow uh, enrichment item in the back right hand corner, which tells me that the wombat should be able to use that burrow item. It looks like the bigger one. Um, so I would imagine that the wombat's going to be able to use that just because it's in the screenshot there. And then we get some of these twisted um, bristlecone pines, I think is what I called them in the last video and nobody corrected me. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to call them bristlecone pines. Uh, we have those twisted trees uh, in the background and then lots of like either the desert rock or the grassland rock. I forget which one specifically this is, um, but some of the naturalistic rocks. And then we just have our little wombat walking across on the ground. So really, honestly, there's not too much to kind of break apart in this screenshot. Um, but I like getting a screenshot like this because again, as we talked about in the scenery video that came out yesterday, where we kind of looked at all the screenshots of the new scenery coming, it's all very heavily themed. But here's a good example of how to use just a couple of the pieces uh, without being spooky or uh, Halloween themed. Like those twisted trees in the background can be uh, used as just kind of dead branches and logs and things. And it looks like, I mean, they look pretty good. So yeah, there is our little wombat friend. That means that the striped skunk is going to be the very last animal that we need to see. And I'm actually relatively surprised that Frontier decided to have the skunk be the last animal revealed of the pack um, because I thought the wombat would definitely be their last reveal in that I think the wombat is going to be a fan favorite. It's definitely going to be at the top of the list of a lot of people's favorite lists. Um, it kind of falls in the middle of mine. I honestly am most excited for the red fox as well as the uh, Egyptian fruit bat. So this guy probably as it stands right now sits at third for me. Definitely could change if we see the striped skunk and it's just too cute to stand, uh, but we'll see. We'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it and see what the striped skunk looks like when we finally get a reveal of that guy. 
But nonetheless, uh, this pack is definitely hard for me to pick a favorite because I am a huge fan of all five animals. And like I've mentioned before, usually I forget about the exhibit animal, but this one, it's right up there as either first or second for me. Um, so very excited. We're getting five really cool, really um, sought after, really requested animals and they just look amazing you know in my last screenshot videos i talked about the fur and the fur just looks absolutely amazing with this guy the texture on the face and the body and like i said big brown fuzzy cotton ball with legs <laughs> i think it's absolutely adorable so let me know what you guys think real quick short video here just taking a look at our wombat friend let me know where you stand as far as favorite goes down in that comment section below leave a like if you enjoyed the video and if you're excited for the twilight pack you know what to do as far as hitting that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out and you can follow me on all my other social media accounts all the links are down in the description uh, along with some other fun stuff. So be sure to check that out. And until next time, I will talk at you in the next video. Bye.